Can you repeat or explain why mathematics cannot be just happy coincidences? Well, the idea here is that on naturalism, um, naturalism cannot accept that this is just coincidence because it's just so improbable. Um, the idea that this physical universe should be imbued with this complex mathematical structure um, that makes science possible cries out for some sort of explanation. And on naturalism, there just isn't any explanation. Uh, whereas theism can easily explain it. So the more the naturalist has to just posit happy coincidences, they're just incredible improbabilities, the less plausible his worldview becomes. It, it shows that his worldview is explanatorily impoverished. It's explanatorily deficient. And a worldview that is more robust in explanatory power is a superior worldview. Mm -hmm. I've heard you use Planiga's illustration about a guy deals himself, you know, four of a kind, and he does it 20 times in a row, and he could say, you know, this is possible in some universe, it's possible that I could do this, and while everyone else is reaching for their six shooters, <laughs> ready to shoot them, you think, actually, you don't actually believe that it's all that possible, do you? Yeah, that, that's an example of trying to use the multiverse to explain away the improbability right. of the fine-tuning. I mean, the fine-tuning is very similar to the applicability of mathematics. In both cases, you have this incredibly improbable situation that cries out for an explanation, and yet, by the nature of the case, naturalism is just explanatorily impoverished in this regard. It, it cannot explain it, mm -hmm. whereas theism can. Mm 